Arun's opinion his weight is greater than 65 but less than 72 kg so let's say this is Arun and in his opinion his weight is lies between 65 to 72 so it is greater than 75 but less than 72 kg his brother does not agree with the Arun and he thinks that Arun's weight is greater than 60 but less than 70 so let's say brother is B and he is thinking that uh, the weight is greater than 60 and less than 70 kg his mother in law is that his weight cannot be greater than 68 kg so what mother in law thinks that the weight is less than equals to 68 kg so by using all these condition what should be the range of weights it's like between 65 to 72 so let's say this is what uh, 65 this is you can say this is 72 this is according to this greater than 60 less than 70 so he thinks that this is 70 and let's say this is 60 so and this is what less than 68 so let's say this is less than 68 so I think what is the common region for all of them this is going to be the common region for all of them so what should be the values we can take it could be what 66 67 and his weight cannot be greater than 68 so cannot be greater than 68 so 68 is also included so what are the possible solutions for to justifying or satisfying all the condition is 66 67 and 68 what is the average of different probable weight of Arun so these are the different probable weight of Arun so let's sum it 66 plus 67 plus 68 divided by 3 okay so what would be the option or what will be the answer 68 is you know uh, so 66 67 and 68 divided by 3 so your answer is going to be what 67 so that is going to be the probable weight or average of all probable weights okay let's come to the next problem the average salary of all the employees in a small organization is 8000 okay the average salary of seven technician is rupees 12000 and the average salary of the rest is rupees 6000 the total number of employees in the organization okay so let's make a diagram let's say total people are p is there and average salary of p people is 8000 so total of this box is 8000 of p the average salary of seven technician is 12,000. So let's say these are the seven technician and they are having average of 12,000. So weight or of this particular box is 84,000. Now seven people are there. So how many people are left? It is P minus seven because P people there is total in total box. There is a P people. So P minus seven people are left and their average salary is what 6,000. So total box cost is what 8000 P this part is 84,000 and what is the value of this part obviously it is P minus 7 into 6000 okay so let's sum it 84,000 plus P minus 7 into 6000 is equals to 8000 P okay uh, 84,000 plus this is 6000 P minus 42,000 equals to 8000 P 84,000 minus 42,000 so obviously it is this half of this so this is 42,000 is equals to what 2000 P thousands two thousands so how many peoples were there it is 21 peoples are there okay so what should be the answer the total number of employees in the organization organization may kitne log the so 21 people were there okay let's come to the next problem a people's mark was originally entered as 83 instead of 63 okay and due to that the average marks for the class got increased by half okay so let's say the total person in a class is what you can say C people are there and what happened 
due to this 83 and 63 is difference so what is the difference of 83 minus 63 is what 20 and this 20 marks due to this 20 mark the average of a class increased by half this ka matlab class mein jitne bhi log the unko sabko half aur mil gaya so main keh sakta hu ki c into half this is the difference to sabhi ko mila hai and the total difference jo mila hai actually wo kitna hai 20 so you can say that how many people are there 40 people are there and that number of people in the class is what 40 so straight away you can say that number of people are in the class is what 40 if you didn't understand this you can say that 83 or 63 ka difference kitna hai 20 aur class mein har insaan ko half rupees aur mile let's say aur kisi ne kaha ki 20 rupees puri class mein bate to agar sabhi ko half rupees mile hai to kitne logo ko half rupees mile c into half aur ye kitne rupees hai total jo aapko baatna hai to aap kahoge ki 20 rupees hai jo aapko baatna hai to fir kitne log hai jinko ye rupees milonge obviously 40 log the sabhi ko half half rupees mile और इस वजह से कितना पोर्शन डिस्ट्रीब्यूट हुआ है सो 20 रुपीस आपने डिस्ट्रीब्यूट किए ओके दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट वन ये बहुत बार आता है इस क्वेश्चन तो आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू सॉल्व इट कंप्लीटली बट आई विल टेल यू दैट हाउ टू वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व इट देयर आर थ्री क्लासेस x y एंड z ऑफ एन एल्जेब्रा टेस्ट द एवरेज स्कोर ऑफ अ क्लास x इज 83 सो लेट्स से in this class x y and z they are a b and c people so x ke andar agar a log hain so what is the weight total of uh, x obviously iska average agar 83 hai to aap keh sakte ho ki it is 83 times of a 83 average hai number of people se multiply kar diya to aapko pata chal jayega ki what is the total weight of x so this is 83 same stands with y jo y ka average hai that is 76 so number of people in class y is what b so it is 76 times of b and uh, that's it i think the average score of class z is so this is what 85 times of c the average score of class x and y is 79 so average score of class x and y is 79 so how to find out average total weight so what is the total weight of x and y this is the total weight of x and y so it is 83a plus 76 B divided by number of people and how many people in X and Y let us say plus B and this average is given to is what 79 so let's put this 79 83 times of A plus 76 times of B is equals to 79 A plus 79 B so finally it is what that is going to be 4 A is equals to this is 79 times of B so 4 A is equals to 3 B so this is the first condition we got or you can say a is equals to 3 by 4 times of b whatever you want next time what happened next time the average of class y and z is 81 so what is the weight of y and z it is 76 b and 85 c so 76 b plus 85 c divided by b plus c and average is what 81 so 76 b plus 85 c is equals to 81 b plus 81 c this is 4 c is equals to what 5 b so you can again find out the value in terms of a is terms of b so you can say c in terms of b is what 5 by 4 times of b so these are the values of a and b a and c in terms of b now what is the average of class of x y and z so what should be the average of x y and z so this should be what weight of x plus weight of y plus weight of z and divided by number of people in class x y and z so let's start 83 times of a plus 76 times of b plus 85 times of c divided by a plus b plus c okay now a ka value b ke terms mein rakh sakte ho aap yahan se 3 by 4 times of b b ka value b hi rakh dijiye aur c ka value aap is 5 by 4 times of b same stands with this it will have a common variable to wo wapas deduct ho jayega and you will get the answer whatever it is going to be so i'm just leaving it up to you 
because the main concept is that that how to determine this particular thing so number of people aap jaise assume kar lete as i told you in earlier part also aap box ka weight nikal lete ho to question aapke liye bahut easy ho jata hai okay so make sure that you are doing each and every time to make the thing so easy next question the average temperature from tuesday to friday it is so common in many exams they are asking it continuously tuesday to friday so tuesday plus wednesday plus thursday plus friday and the total is 48 so i'm not doing it directly because four days hai to 48 into 4 i'm not calculating it aur wednesday se saturday ka jo total hai to wednesday thursday friday and saturday so this is going to be 52 into 4 usne kaha if the temperature on tuesday is 42 uh, degree celsius so what we should do hum this is equation 1 let's say this is equation 2 इक्वेशन इस वाले में से अगर इस वाले को आप डिडक्ट कर देते हो तो थर्सडे फ्राइडे जो वैल्यू है वो आपकी डिडक्ट हो जाएगी तो आप क्या लिखोगे यहाँ से ट्यूजडे से लेके फ्राइडे तक का टोटल था और यहाँ से वेनजडे से लेके सैटरडे तक का टोटल है सो so, इस सेकेंड इक्वेशन में फर्स्ट को माइनस करेंगे तो मैं लिखता हूँ वेनजडे माइनस ट्यूजडे Thursday से Thursday डिडक्ट हो जाएगा Friday will deduct Friday and this is what uh, Wednesday से sorry Wednesday से Wednesday भी डिडक्ट हो जाएगा so it will minus of Tuesday plus of Saturday okay minus of Tuesday what because we are subtracting from two equation uh, equation one from equation two so Wednesday से Wednesday डिडक्ट हो जाएगा Thursday से Thursday Friday से Friday यहाँ पे फाइनली सैटरडे बचेगा और इसमें से माइनस का ट्यूजडे एंड यहाँ पे कैलकुलेट करना हो सो मेक श्योर दैट यू आर नॉट डूइंग कैलकुलेशन एंड दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन ऑफ एवरेज स्पेशली बिकॉज थिंग्स इज ऑलवेज गोइंग टू बी कांस्टेंट ये हमेशा कांस्टेंट था तो यहाँ से आप फोर कॉमन ले लीजिए तो फिफ्टी टू माइनस सो फिफ्टी टू माइनस इज गोइंग टू बी वॉट फोर सो फोर फोर जा सिक्सटीन सैटरडे का वैल्यू तो सैटरडे का वैल्यू फिफ्टी डिग्री माइनस ट्यूजडे का वैल्यू इज ट्यूजडे इज इक्वल्स टू सिक्सटीन तो ट्यूजडे का वैल्यू कितना हो जाएगा फिफ्टी टू उसमें से आप सिक्सटीन को ऐड कर दीजिए सो दैट इज सिक्सटी एट डिग्री सो दीज आर द फिक्स क्वेश्चन ये हमेशा फिक्स होते हैं तो आप बेटर है यू आर जस्ट राइटिंग ऑल द थिंग्स सो दैट यू नो दैट विच थिंग इज गोइंग टू बी सब्ट्रैक्ट एंड विच थिंग इज गोइंग टू बी सब्ट्रैक्ट फ्रॉम विच वन ऑब्वियसली दिस पार्ट इज ऑन हायर पार्ट सो एंड दिस इज ऑन अ लोअर पार्ट सो you have to subtract this from this particular equation so then you will get all the settled thing on the left hand side and then you can easily find out the values of the remaining portion okay so let's come to the next part yes a train runs for 3 hours at a speed of 65 km per hour and for next 2 hours at a speed of 70 km per hour find the average speed of a train for 5 hours journey okay Before starting this question, I would like to explain you that uh, how to solve these type of problem actually. What is average speed? So average speed is given by what? Total distance divided by total time. So whenever these type of problems are there, make sure that you are finding total distance first of all, and then you will have this total time interval. Okay. So There's a shortcut is also that uh, let's start. Uh, a person is driving d distance at a speed of b1 and next d distance with the speed of b2. Okay, and now the average speed for the entire journey. So this one is given by total distance is what d plus d. So it is 2d. Now total time interval. So total time interval is what for this slot. Your time interval is going to be Time is equals to uh, speed is equals to distance upon time. So obviously time is equals to distance upon speed. Distance is d divided by v1. So this is d divided by v1. Next time t2. Obviously distance upon v2. So this is what distance upon v2. And this whole portion, I think d can be common. So twice of d. If d is common, so this is going to be one upon v1 plus one upon v2. D से D काट दीजिए यहाँ पे 2 as it is so this is going to be v1 plus v2 and your LCM is v1 v2 just put the value over there so you will get twice of v1 v2 
divided by v1 plus v2. So this is going to be your average speed. When you are having the same distance, if you are not having the same distance, obviously you are going to change the particular thing or particular distance over there. So don't learn this particular formula. This is for constant distance. If the distance is not constant, so you can change it and you can change it according to yourself. So whatever the distance is given to you, just put the value over there. Just get the velocity or speed you can say. So you can do this by this entire formula or do this entire process. Okay, so let's solve with this one. How to solve this particular question. So I think it will be so easy for us to solve it. Now average speed is total distance. So distance is not given to you, but this time and speed is too given to you. So for distance, it's equal to speed into time. So it is 65 into 3. So this is going to be what? I think 195. And distance 2 is what? For next 2 hours at a speed of 70 km per hour. So, so 2 into 70 is going to be 140. Okay. So what is the total distance now? So 195 plus 140 is going to be your total distance. Okay. 19 plus 14 is I think... 33 so this is total distance now average speed is equals to total distance is 335 and total time is what 3 hours for the first one 2 hours for the second one so 335 divided by 5 so this is 5 6 uh, 30 and this is what 67 okay so 67 kilometer per hour is a total speed this is a one concept is also sometime if your calculation is wrong Obviously, it should be lies between this 65, this 70 portion. So make sure that you are using it very correctly. You can also do it by options. Actually, you can use it allegation method also. Like this is 70, this is 65. So you don't know the value of this uh, x, and that is given to you that uh, average speed. So by option, you just put the value and the ratio of this value according to the question. So. If you are not comfortable for just this, I think this is the best way. If you are getting three uh, speeds, so you can also start with the same manner. Okay. If you have three speeds, you will have three distances plus divided by three time slots. So you can easily find out the value. So that's why I just took this question. Okay. This is again a very common question for all of them. 10 years ago. Okay. So whatever the 10 years ago, let's say this is the percentage is going on. And this is 10 years ago, minus 10 years ago. The ages of the member of a joint family of eight people added up to 231 years. So at that time, this age is going to be 231 years. Three years later, so what will happen? After three years, all eight people are increased by three, three years. So what we should add, 231 should be added with eight into three. Three years later, this will be the total age of the entire family. Okay. Three years later, one member died at the age of 60 years. So this is the total uh, age. And now 60 years man is or woman is died. So this is 231 plus 24. So 231 plus 24 minus 60. So let's do it. 231 plus 24 is going to be 255 and minus 60. So this is what? 20 5 minus 6 is 195 so at that time after three years this is going to be 195 years is a total age of entire family okay yeah. one child was also born so obviously uh, one child is also born at that day so its original age is zero actually so doesn't matter but now the whole family is again of eight people Wapis low family eight people are there so after another three years, so another three years, what will happen? Again, eight into three will increase. Each people, yeah, each person is increased by uh, three years. So this weight of this box is going to be 195 into 20 plus 24. And again, a person of 60 years died at that time. So 195 plus 24 and minus 60. This is what 135. 19 minus 6 is uh, what 135 plus 24 so 135 plus 24 is going to be 159 so after another three years or you can say the 3 plus 3 is what six years 
one more member died again at a 60 and a child was born during the same year okay so again a person is born is there but he is having a zero years age but again the total number of people in a family is what eight people are there and a child was born during the same year the current average of the eight members joint family is nearest to okay so to get a percentage six years was already done so this slot is at what four years in four years people of eight people are there so they will increase their age by 32 eight fours are 32 so it will 9 plus 2 is 11 16 plus 3 is 19 and eight people are there 191 divided by 8 what was the answer it was a 16 uh, three is left so what you can say it is around 8 for the uh, it was a 16 3 8 fours are 32 so that is around eight, 24 years you can say that is not exactly but you can say this is around 24 years will be your answer so the current average of the eight members joint family is nearest to obviously nearest to ask to you so this answer is going to be 24 so that is an important question in many exams i have seen so you can also do that the average age of a team of 15 employees is 36 okay so let's say let's make a box as i did earlier also so 15 people are there their average age is 36 so what should be the total 15 6 are 90 0 15 5 are so 540 is a total of a whole box okay and the youngest of them is 20 years old and the eldest or the of them is 56 years old so their range is given to you and it lies between 20 and 56 two of them with average 28 leave the team okay so two of them with average 28 or you can say two peoples each in their wing on average 28 28 so total is 56 so in this whole box 56 is not there because they left the particular box so now box is having a capacity of what 484 so total weight of this box is what 484 if one of them one of the two comes back on the condition that he will be made team leader then what will be the new average age okay Essay question may ek yahan pe ye bhi likha hua aata hai ki which age you cannot have kaun sa age hai average jo nahi ho sakta hai so i am taking both the questions okay uh, option ones i can remember that uh, i think 35 36 or whatever 37 or 38 for this particular question that uh, what will be the cannot be the new average age okay so let's start let's start this for 484 plus x ek naya maan lete hain jo naya person aayega uska average itna maan lete hain ki wo x age leke aata hai and now how many peoples were there so 15 employees were there out of two were left so one is again uh, getting back so how many people were there 14 people is going to be there 484 plus x आप मिनिमम एवरेज कितना पुट कर सकते हो या x का वैल्यू मिनिमम कितना पुट कर सकते हो एज x लाइज बिटवीन 20 तो आप मिनिमम वैल्यू x का कितना पुट कर सकते हो 20 सो so, 484 प्लस 20 डिवाइड बाय 14 सो so, 484 प्लस 20 इज गोइंग टू बी व्हाट 504 एंड डिवाइड बाय 14 सो so, 14 3 इज अ 42 एंड तो जो नया एज है वो मिनिमम कितना होगा 36 आप 36 से नीचे नहीं जा सकते हो व्हाई बिकॉज़ यू कांट हैव दिस वैल्यू लेस देन 20 तो आप यहां से लेस देन 20 वैल्यू नहीं पुट कर सकते हो तो आप एवरेज जो है वो 36 जो है उससे नीचे नहीं जा सकते हो तो वो क्वेश्चन जिसका आंसर कि जो नया एवरेज एज क्या नहीं हो सकता तो उसके ऑप्शन में 35 होता है so 35 कैन नॉट बी द न्यू एवरेज एज नाउ अगर यहां पे पूछे हैं कि यहां पे कौन सा होगा तो इस टाइप के क्वेश्चंस का आंसर कि व्हाट विल बी द न्यू एवरेज एज और इस क्वेश्चन का जो ऑप्शन है that is i think 36 ek average aap kya rakh sakte ho naya average maximum naya average aap maximum rakhne ke liye maximum age kitna rakh sakte ho 56 bhi rakh sakte ho to jaise aap 56 rakhoge to aapko naya average bhi pata chal jayega ki maximum average kitna ho sakta hai but uh, lies the values to 36 is going to be your answer ki jo minimum value hai wo kitna hoga so 36 is going to be minimum value agar aap next value rakhoge to 37 aa jayega and that's it to so 36 or 37 can be the next values of this particular question so that is another important question jo range batata hai ki what range you can have so range is given to you according to that you have to put the values and then get the range of the answers also
okay